Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Tsuyoshi Takeda from Panasonic. And uh, my colleague, Mr. Florian Hag, was supposed to make a presentation today, but uh, unfortunately, he can't be here, so I will uh, make a presentation instead of him. Again, my name is Tsuyoshi Takeda. I work in the uh, new business development team of Electronic Materials Business Division. I'm originally from Japan, but I'm currently stationed in Europe to help customers with new technologies like uh, printed electronics. Today, I'm going to talk about development of a novel thermoset stretchable substrate for printed electronics. <coughs> Here are the topics I'm going to cover today. The first, I will introduce EMBD, Electronic Material Business Division, uh, briefly. Then, I will provide some background of our de development program. After that, I will talk about our new substrate material called BLX. And I will close my presentation by sharing some use case devices uh, that were made with BLX. The first uh, EMBD introduction. The Panasonic group consists of Panasonic Holdings and uh, eight operating companies. And the EMBD belongs to Panasonic Industry Company. EMBD, our headquarters is uh, located in Osaka, Japan. And we have 16 locations and 10 uh, production plants uh, globally. Number of employees, approximately 4,200. And the sales is about 1.5 billion euro. And we are supplier of electronic materials such as printed circuit board material, IC substrate material, encapsulation materials, the molding compound, and also functional film materials. The EMBD is one of the division which has a longest history in Panasonic and we have almost 100 year experience in polymer technologies. Next, I will talk about some background of our development. The recent development in the emerging field of wearable electronics highlights the need for uh, the new materials to enable new form factor devices and these devices need to accommodate more organic applications like uh, human body and uh, our clothing. And these devices can contribute to improve human health and uh, quality of life. The pandemic highlighted the need for a better remote monitoring and these trends will become even more significant as the population ages. Why printed electronics? The conventional PCBs manufacturing has a long history. It's a well-established technology. While conventional PCBs are robust and high performance, they are typically very rigid. However, the people are not hard, flat, and rectangular, so it seems conventional PCBs may not be the best solution for on-body applications. On the other hand, the printed electronics typically use flexible or even stretchable substrate they are more pliable and conformable than conventional PCBs. Now, however, printed electronics generally exhibit lower perform 